Alicia Rose here. Thank you for tuning in. So I had a lot of different ideas this week about what I wanted to talk about. And this morning, the topic presented itself to me that feels most relevant. So it's a question that I get a lot uh, in the altered state when I'm channeling and people sharing in messages that they are not able to feel their highest excitement. And this one gets me, like this one tugs at my heartstrings and honestly, I can barely understand it. I can, I can barely, I can barely understand that state, honestly. So for those of you that don't know, I am a vocal channel for an ET hybrid named Bella. She says she comes from the Yehiel race. She also says that she is connected to, in many different ways, the being that we would know as Bashar that has been channeled through Daryl Anka for the past 30 years. A big part of what Bashar has brought through via Daryl is the idea of what they call the formula. Following your highest excitement in each and every given moment to the best of your ability with integrity and without any insistence on the outcome. From their perspective, this is the toolkit. This is the car manual. This is how reality functions. It's not an idea. It's not a philosophy. It's not metaphysics. It's physics. This question also too, Bashar, I can't feel my highest excitement, comes up a lot with Bashar in sessions. And no shade, no judgment, not like being racist to the hybrid races, but I think there is only a certain level of emotional awareness that in a way they have the ability to truly, truly understand. It's what humanity has signed up for, to be so connected to the emotional body, to have experiences of such degree of contrast, to activate and to feel and to bring these denser emotional frequencies up into resonance and balance. So I think translation comes through from Bashar sometimes in a way that's very much from their perspective. And the passion and the intensity that comes through, I do think sometimes around this specific topic comes from a place where I kind of understand, like you're telling me you don't, you don't know how to feel your excitement, you don't know the difference between anxiety and excitement, yeah, Bashar, sometimes humans don't. Real tea, bro, like sometimes we don't. So the intensity and the passion that comes through has been them for the last 30 years saying essentially the same thing. But, oh, what about this way? If we say it this way, will you understand it? If we say it this way, are you gonna understand it? What if we tilt it this way? Well, what about this way? Oh, did it make sense this way? Are we making sense this way? They've been attempting to say the same things and, and doing it beautifully and eloquently and everyone gets exactly what they need. And each way that he explains it is slightly different sometimes, depending on the person having this type of specific question. A lot of times he'll go for finding the belief, restructuring someone's identity to a story that they've been telling themselves. This is all great and, and it's, it's what the Bashar does. Um, with my connection with Bella, it's been slightly different. She has slowed down the formula for me in a way and given examples that I do feel are relevant and I do feel could potentially help people redefine what this idea of excitement means and how we can really clue into it, how we can really take action in each and every moment and in ways that maybe we are defining as being too simple. 
So the first idea that our highest excitement, from my understanding, that word, those two words, your highest excitement came through in a very specific way, has come through, continues to come through because it is a translation that will activate our connection with our signature frequency, with the ultimate theme. And ideas in that way can be given that express connection to the ultimate theme, be it quitting your job, changing your career, traveling the world, um, connecting with your long lost high school boyfriend, whatever the big idea is, using the terms your highest excitement clues us in to that signature frequency where then we can start the communication process to get the next and the next and the next idea of excitement. But also what this means and more so I think how we can truly apply the formula in each and every moment is really slowing it down. Really knowing, feeling that any idea that we are given, any thought of the next action is coming from the higher self, is coming from the aspect of us that is always connected to our signature frequency, is the aspect of us that is the actor in the show giving the character the next line. Any idea. Even something, for example, as small as getting yourself a glass of water. Having the awareness that you're thirsty and you desire a glass of water is your next moment of your highest excitement. And by us really slowing down our relay and response we can feel this connection. We can choose to know that this idea is coming from the higher self. We can, before we even go and get ourselves the glass of water, right? Just take that milli moment to go, oh, that's the next moment of highest excitement. That came from my higher self. That's cool. I can do that. I can do that right now. Not only can I do that, but I also can have the awareness that that is my next moment of excitement. That's amazing, right? Feeling that connection, feeling that appreciation, feeling us even being able to have the ability to observe. Then from there, get yourself a glass of water. And most of us are in a place where we are able to get clean water, right? And so then there is another level of appreciation that we can tune into. Not only am I in utter appreciation because I can have the awareness that I'm connected to myself and my imagination and my inspiration, but now not only do I have the awareness that I even got the idea, I have the ability to do the idea. Appreciation. And to then also feel that if you are in fact in a reality where you have access to clean water, this is a direct reflection of your level of frequency. This is a direct reflection of your abundance, of your worth, of your connection to source and to be able to have the ability to even do what you are imagining, what you are telling yourself that you would like to do next. So this is a, a, a huge permission slip in a way within a task that feels very, very simple, within an idea that feels extremely mundane and boring, but it's not at all. And by us really choosing to find that appreciation and to sit in that appreciation for all of the little ideas, making food for yourself, taking a, a walk, having to go to a job that you may not actually like, having the awareness that you are making a choice 
to continue to do this job or whatever it is because it is what your belief system currently supports. Knowing that, yeah, I don't really like this job. I'd much rather be doing this. But right now, this actually feels better and I'm making the choice to do a job that I don't really like. But having that awareness, having that appreciation for yourself that you're making this choice changes the ball game completely. And then we go into all the other things that he's talked about for years about your circumstances don't matter, the state of being matters, all of that awesomeness comes into play from there. But a big part of how we truly get there from my perspective and from what has come through Bella is to really slow it down. And to redefine maybe what we're thinking needs to be our highest excitement. Like dudes, it's anything in each and every given moment. And it has, as it has been explained to me too, we're going to have expectations about things. That, from my perspective and from what Bella has explained to me, is part of the initial download that we get about the desire. It's the details that are in whatever the idea is that connects us to our signature frequency and our ultimate theme. So it isn't so much about not having expectations. As part of the, that's part of our desire. It's part of our artistic creation. It's part of seeing the vision. It's the insistence that is most important to truly let go. That we have an idea, we have a vision, we have a desire. There's certain levels of expectation, but it doesn't need to go that way that we are expecting. And so it's that level of the insistence that is really crucial for us to let go so then we can stay open to all of the different ways that something else could present itself or the different synchronicities unfolding to lead to the ultimate greater theme or the next and the next and the next exploration of highest excitement. And it's all a self-contained kit, as he says, right? Doing something very, very small, such as knowing that after you watch this video, you need to go to the bathroom and you can do that and you have a lovely toilet and you don't have a bladder infection and it's really easy to go to the bathroom or whatever the story is, right? To really feel that appreciation, to feel that excitement for knowing that you're in the act of being able to do your excitement. This builds a foundation and this builds a muscle and then we are, in more conscious, connected communication with our higher selves. And the higher self is then able to give us the next idea or the next idea and the next idea that may be a slightly bigger idea, right? Because we built the muscle and we're telling the higher self we're ready for more and more and more. So I feel like this has been a little rambly, but it's something that I do feel very passionately about. And I do very much understand in ways why the Bashar gets so passionate about this topic. And it's really the same topic. <laughs> like this is kind of all they've been talking about for 30 years for the most part, but just saying it in different ways. And that level of passion that that, that redefining their translations, saying it this way. Oh, if we say it this way, will it make sense to you? What about this way? Does it make sense this way? What about this way? What about this way? Oh, oh, how about now? And I feel like I'm just maybe like another representative of that and being another line of translation for more of us to come together and for more of us to activate. And I'm in no way wanting to contradict at all, casting no shade on Bashar or Daryl ever. Um, I just hope to be uh, the next layer to it, or another layer, or a co-creator in it. Because we all are, and they are all learning through us, and we are all learning through them. And slowing down, slowing down is a huge part of it. 
and finding, like I said, those, those spaces in between. There's emotional resonance even in between taking the action, knowing that you received the thought. Knowing that you've even received the next moment, the next idea, whatever it is. And feeling that connection and that appreciation. And I promise you, it just grows and builds from there. Our minds may be different. Our bodies may be different. But it is through the heart that we know our spirits are one. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And 